people, welcome back to the spider's web. And as you can see, we're going to be going on with uh, our troll friend here. So, let's get my little headset -y thing on. And uh, we can have a bash at applying some more paint. So, what do we have? Well, we have our grey for the, the back. A creamy colour who wants for the the front um, but first of all what I want to do is get in all the little um, turs in the flesh and how we're going to be doing that is by using white to start off with um, and I want to get quite a bit of the white onto the um, to the palette first off <coughs> because we have uh, I said quite a bit to do so let's get let's get some white on the palette and if not we have a, a loose bristle here okay so that's that done now what we're going to be doing is using a finer brush the one we're using here is a oh, detail brush a little bit of water get into the white and then we can paint everything where there's a tur in the skin white and I mean everywhere where there's a tur in the skin this is going to take some time to do and um, because you've got all sorts of little rips and tears to cover So just go through and make sure that you've got on the bigger areas. Now I need to just do these on the other leg. I have a very bad twitch in my index finger of my right hand today. beginning to do me nothing keeps coming and going Oops, I almost missed that area there Is there anywhere else? Let's just have a quick go walk over just to make sure a little spot there. Okay, there's a bit there on his muscle. Can't work out where that is. There isn't. I'll put some in anyway on the safe side. 
I think that could well be it. Pause this at the moment because we're going to a phone call. It won't be a second. Right, sorry about that. Um, I've just noticed that in my uh, case where I keep all my paints, I've had a bit of a leak. <laughs> I've had my case at the art club this morning and it's been sort of like vertical in my uh, in my bag. And my right, off guard blue has decided to uh, leak on me so I'm a little bit um, covered in blue paint at the moment it was all, sort of, it was all over the uh, inside of my case so I've had to clean my case out oh dear oh dear uh, not nice where's my tissue Paper towel, whatever you want to call it. Right, so here we go. Let's carry on. Let's get on. Um, I'm going to keep you out and give you a give that pot of clean in a moment. Uh, white. We'll leave them to one side. Right, here we go. Let's carry on, shall we? Um, okay. Uh, where are we? We've got, I think, every word done that needs to be done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start mixing up some paint for the highlights for the, the skin. And for this we're going to start with Screaming Skull. Wait a second. I think I must have up the camera. So we're starting off with Screaming Skull. <clears throat> I'll get some of that on the palette. And after the Screaming Skull, we'll have a little bit of Evil Sun Scarlet. We don't want much of this. In fact, I'm going to pop that there. And I can add the Screaming Skull into the... In fact... We put way too much Screaming Skull down. So no, not way too much Evil Sun Scarlet down, so let's get some more... of the Screaming Skull into the mix. Still way too much. We just wanted to take off the creamy colour and add just a little bit of pinky colour into it. Okay, so that's that done. Now what I want to mix into this as well, which may surprise you, is when I can find it. Kelia Green Shade. This is the wash that we used for the, the front of the um, front of the auger. That troll, sorry. going to clean my brush and dry my brush and give it another shake and get some more of this green shade onto a clean brush and that could be about it what I want There we are. 
I know it looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but it'll look all right when it's done. <laughs> okay, so going back to my detail brush, what we're trying to do now is pick out the details of the different areas with this colour. Just like so. I'm sorry, a little bit quiet then. I uh, was too busy concentrating on what I was doing rather than telling you what I was doing. Okay, so picking out on the highlights, um, on the raised areas, with this colour. Um, so, uh, The idea being anywhere that will catch the light, as you know, you've seen me do these before. Um, we're looking for all the places that are going to catch light, and that's what we're going to be filling in with this colour. But we're also going to add... This is not the extreme highlight stage. So we will be adding some of this highlights to bits where it will be in shadow just to give the, the three dimensional look. We'll give the shadow um, as well as a, the actual colour. So this really is the, the colour of the skin rather than the, the highlight. like so I do have some live trolls to paint later on. I have actually made a start on the goblin uh, an orc faction for this and we have three two or three trolls in that faction. I think it's three trolls in that faction to paint. So uh, we'll be doing that later on. I'm going to try and work through all the um, all the games on this you know, one by one. So I'll do the base I'll do some of the base game and then we'll start off with the um or oh, what should we call it's the uh, uh, all the expansions and that there we go and now we're going to be using some <coughs> administratum grey going to go in there. I think we're going to start some grey is going to be mixed in with the Dawnstone which I have a feeling I've put back.
Yes, I have. <laughs> so, get the Dawnstone out. In fact, I'm not going to use the Administratum Grey with the Dawnstone yet. What I'm going to do is add the Dawnstone first as a neat colour. Gently just in some areas, just run your brush along its edge. And that will get the paint on where we want it rather than flood areas. done the hands here with the white so I'm going to go back to that before I do anything else so back into the white with the detail brush and it's amazing what you see when you're not looking you don't see things when you are looking for them when you stop looking sometimes that you see everything. There we go. That's that bit done. And now we just want to add another little colour into our um Highlight technique, which is well, we're not adding another color to our uh, highlight technique. It's we're just going straight into now the um, administratum grey, and here we are just using colors just on the upper areas, and we're not coloring all of the areas where we've just been um, we don't want to cover up all of the previous colour we've applied to do is just one is along the knuckles on the back of the hands just slightly and that's where we get our more prominent forms of highlights Try and make it so that we get some of the creases rather than making it all look smooth. Mm. 
do kind of like a, a hedge highlight in some areas if there's any raised areas that are quite sharply defined you can see here I'm stippling I'm not actually painting I'm just putting, oops I'm just dotting the colour onto the bear with me a second let me just zoom in a touch and then you get a better idea of what I'm doing You can see this up here. It takes a while to get this done. And sometimes having a very shaky hand like I have today helps. You see this is not me trying to stipple, this is just me working with the shakiness in my hand to actually get the technique done. Sometimes, and they say, people say I can't do any detail work because my hands are shaking too much. And sometimes, actually having a shaky hand, as I said, is a help. Especially sometimes on detail work like I'm doing here. <laughs> and I know it sounds silly. But, as you can see, it is working for me. It means that I'm not actually applying the, the paint in a in a solid band so it's much more soft around the edges mm. although I'll say that it doesn't feel terribly nice when you're painting I must admit this is a horrible feeling when your hands are shaking you're trying to get the paint on it, it does make it a little bit stressful but be careful I'm going to step away for a second I'm going to not just going to have to step away for a second I'm just going to have to plug the chair here because I've just noticed I haven't plugged my uh, mains power lead into the, my uh, camera I don't want it to uh, running out of power. There we almost everything it's just okay so 
There we go, that is it for the highlighting. This part. What I need to do now is a little more creamy colour in the um, for the uh, front areas. You want to add a little of the screaming skull with a spot of the white to make it a bit paler. A little spot of the red. And as soon as I say a little spot of the red, I automatically know that I'm going to put way too much in. Oh dear lord. It's such a strong colour, the red. And I want some more white in here. That looks to be and we're just going to add a few little lines here and the uh, the front just to make it stand out that little bit more Like so, and there. And that's that. All we need to do now is add the finishing touches, which is some technical paint here and there. So the technical paint we're going to be using first off is, um, when I can get my hands on it, it's not that one. Oh, phone again. Won't be a second. 